Yes, recently we've seen a increase in activity with bees. Now, in our area, predominantly there's two kinds of bees. There's what's the European, what's called the European honeybee, and of course the Africanized honeybees. Uh, the difference being in the research that I've done and I've gotten from the United States Department of Agriculture is that Africanized honeybees uh, swarm or leave their hive up to three times a year. In comparison to European, they tend to swarm or move, relocate their hive once every 12 months. The first thing you do is recommended on the website is run. While you're running, pull your shirt over your, your head where it doesn't obstruct your view, of course, of where you're running, but that'll help and uh, to keep the bees from stinging vital areas in the head, eyes, nose. Do not jump into water. They will just wait for you to resurface from the water and continue to attack. Get into a some type of shelter. Do not swat at them. Do not kill them. When a bee is killed, it releases a scent type of pheromone and more bees will come to that. It's human nature for us to start swatting them, but the best thing to do is run away from that location as far as you can, safe, as safe and as far as you can. The main thing that we need the people to, or our citizens to do, is to be proactive and to, the best way is prevention like anything else. If they see something, call an exterminator. Don't wait for it. It won't take very long for them to build their nest and um, their hive, I'm sorry. If you see one or two bees, Kind of monitor to see where they're going. If you see them come close to an eave of your house, uh, a water meter, a any type of an old tree branch, uh, a hollow in a tree, monitor it. If you see that, there's a good chance there's a hive there. Now, the key thing is people a lot of times ask us, are they Africanized? The only way to tell if it's an Africanized bee or a European is under a microscope in the laboratory. So we have to treat everything as if they were or not there's no way for us to tell i know we get a lot of calls to the fire department and we will respond to bee attacks but uh we will go check when they call and say we have bees but a lot of the times the best thing for a homeowner to do is call an exterminator they have the bee suits the equipment and they know how to eradicate them uh, fire department we have bee suits we're there more for the rescue so it's very important we cannot go in there if they're in somebody's wall in somebody's eve uh, we can't go we'll create damage to the house so all we use is our bee suits and you know high pressure water so yes that's one thing that we need them to you know monitor the area around their house and call an exterminator if they if they do find anything